Hi, this is Yaroslav from ShareMuch.com and today we're going to talk about some of the improvements in terms of publishing site features in SharePoint 2013 Preview. So right now I'm looking at a brand new SharePoint publishing site. Uh, it's been uh, created through central administration, same thing as in 2010. Um, and this is what the site looks like uh, when, when you first access it. So there's a section, it's kind of like a checklist for NIA and then a checklist for visual designer. Um, not sure if that's going to stay for the final version, but it's kind of nice to, to have a checklist like that, but uh, not really, you can't really, like, you know, it doesn't make your life too much easier. You still need to go and go about and, and make all those tasks or complete all of those tasks. So today we're going to focus on what's what's new in terms of uh, publishing side, in terms of uh, image renditions. So what is image rendition? So there's a link right here for Visual Designer uh, where a visual designer can uh, define various types of renditions and this feature is going to be only enabled um, in fact you'll get big fat red error here saying that uh, it's not enabled if your blob caching is not enabled so uh, to enable your blob caching you basically uh, open the web config of a particular uh, web application here and search for blob cache and just like that here uh, it's already defined and uh, you just need to change uh, false to true uh, and that that right away turns it on uh, and you just refresh this particular page and everything's gonna you know the red message is gonna disappear so what you define here you can add there's a couple of predefined ones so there's uh, uh, 10 uh, 100 by 100 pixels uh, there's uh, 304 by 100 pixels different type of renditions and image sizes what, what happens is that you can add your own and anytime the user uh, or site um, contributor is going to be adding new images uh, to the site and then later on using them on pages we'll, we'll see in a moment how um, they will be able to pick the right Im image uh, rendition and, uh, and get the image um, that looks exactly how they want it to look like so let me give you an example so we'll use one of the out of the box here one of the out of the box uh, um, uh, you know image renditions and let's go to uh, let's go to site contents which is uh, pretty much view all site content uh, in the preview and then we'll go to site collection images we'll take a look at this image so if you look at this image it's just a regular image that's been added here uh, there isn't anything in added properties that that will you know allow you to change the rendition so uh, the way you change the rendition is uh, you click on here on the extended properties and you click edit renditions so automatically if uh, the renditions feature is enabled you'll have different versions uh, of this image what you can do um, you can adjust what part of an image you want to include in this particular rendition so for instance for this small image uh, those two people are kind of cut off so rather than having both of them cut off I'll focus on uh, this gentleman here click save so uh, that's my 100 by 100 this is uh, 120 by uh, 68 uh, this is a little bit uh, bigger, you know, and an aspect ratio is maintained, uh, so that's nice. So I'm going to move it up. And here again, their faces got cut off. Uh, we'll make them a little bigger, like this. Save it. And um, and the last one is also their faces got cut off, so I'll just uh, fix it up. Obviously, since it's automated automated rendition, it's not going to you know it's not gonna make a best guess for you so how does that look like uh, when you're actually editing the page or using that image so um, let's add this particular page and see what happens so uh, here's the page content area and uh, I'm gonna go about uh, go ahead and uh, insert a new image new picture from SharePoint and I'm gonna pick this particular image click insert so by default it inserts image as is but um, in here you have an icon here that says pick a rendition and you can actually specify the rendition that you want so for instance in here if I want to insert the large image and you can see that the image has been switched to whatever the rendition size uh, it is so uh, that's pretty much it uh, as you can see this is a neat little feature the reason why is because if you remember in the past um, you know you have your designer uh, provide um, images to side contributors and then you know site contributors being uh, especially if you're working in, a, in an environment where uh, the site contributors are really they don't have access to designer they would uh, take the image the designer has provided to them and then they would try to use it in different places and they would either have to go back to the designer every time 
and uh, asked them to cut a new image for them for, for a particular new area and uh, that would obviously result in additional cost and overhead so with, with this particular scenario you know the designer provides a full image to um, to a client and the client can actually do some basic uh, rendition transformation based on based on uh, what they need and as well as for consulting companies that provide uh, solutions to uh, to customers, you can specify base renditions for customers. And that way, they don't have to wander around. Is it, you know with with graphic design tools? Is, is it 100 by 100 or is it 130 by 200? Uh, rather, that uh, rendition is going to be specified for them, and images are going to be automatically created. So uh, hopefully that was useful, and hopefully you already see how you can use this in, in your next uh, project. Stay tuned for more videos at uh, sharemuch.com and also on my YouTube channel.